Queen Elizabeth II is Britain's longest serving monarch. And with a 340 million pound budget, the Windsors receive more than any other European royal family. But what do the royals offer Britain? From the death of Princess Diana, to William's marriage to Kate, and of course Harry's marriage to Meghan, the world is obsessed with Britain's royal family. The royals reportedly generate $767 million a year in tourism revenue, drawing visitors to various attractions around Britain. But that's not their only impact. The Queen is an important part of Brand UK. Her marketability contributes £160 billion annually to British exports, especially in luxury goods. These happy celebrations will remind us of the And it's not just the Queen who's good for profit. Before a scandal forced him to step down, Prince Andrew was the UK trade envoy, earning the nickname Air Miles Andy. Though Prince Andrew didn't receive a salary for his role, between 2010 and 2011 he visited 15 countries and has been credited as a dealmaker lobbying for UK business overseas. The royals also have an important political role. From inviting President Xi to a banquet at Buckingham Palace to entice Chinese investment, to Prince Charles's visit to Finsbury Park Mosque, showing his support for Britain's Muslim community after an attack on worshippers. The royals have been harnessed as an important diplomatic resource and are an important reason why the UK was ranked second globally for the reach of its soft power. So, are the royals just a drag on the British taxpayer? Or do you think they make a worthwhile contribution to the UK?